Hey guys, so today I thought I'd do a video just discussing three brands that I don't trust and three brands that have, for all intents and purposes, have lost all credibility to me. And there's three major ones, although I've made other videos about brands I don't trust. In my opinion, these three brands are the major aggressors, in my opinion. So I'm going to start out with Truly Organic, which is now just called Truly, and there's a reason for that is a huge lawsuit that I believe they lost $2 million in. They are calling themselves truly organic at the same time their products weren't organic. And in fact, they didn't even manufacture the products themselves. They were just buying overstock products, putting a fancy little golden uh, thing on it, adding some dye, and selling it for ridiculous prices. Meanwhile, they're just buying overstock cleansers, products that weren't organic, products they didn't even make. And they got caught, and they got sued, and they lost about $2 million in a huge class action lawsuit. And consequently of that, they had to change their name from Truly Organic to Truly because they're not organic. So you still see them. They take up a lot of shelf space at stores like Ulta. Although for a while you're seeing a lot of their products at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because... They had to relabel everything and couldn't sell them as organic, so they just off-sold their stock there so in my opinion they still as far as i'm aware of they still are doing the same thing just buying over stock uh raw items putting a fancy label and package on it and marking up the price a hundred percent or probably even more than that actually so they're still doing that they actually even had a beauty box which i didn't really realize but they had a beauty subscription box and then they kind of just stopped fulfilling it. So a lot of customers were really unhappy with them. And a lot of them kind of got screwed over by the company. So this is a brand I just don't trust as far as I can throw them. Marketing yourselves is organic when you're not an organic. A lot of marketing terms are not regulated at all. Uh, dermatologist tested, non comedogenic things like that are not regulated at all. But the term organic is actually uh, regulated by the... Uh, US FDA there's a whole department that regulates organic products so organic is not a term to mess around with especially when you're really just buying a bunch of bulk products from random places and putting in a pretty bottle and marking up the price 100 200 percent and selling it so at this point I see them in Alta every time I see them I'm annoyed because I know that this brand is kind of a scam so they might be selling a cleanser but they're not organic they didn't even make the product themselves. I don't even know if they know it's 200 milligrams of CBD. Don't trust the brand. Never will. Another brand I don't trust, Mario Badescu. And you know, I really, when I first started getting into skincare, tried to give this brand a chance. But the more I read about what they did in the past, the more it makes me never want to support them or give them one cent of my money. There's so many brands I haven't given a first chance to that a second chance to someone else is like, if you've already done me wrong once, I'm going to go give a first chance to a brand I've never supported or a smaller brand. And what this brand did was so egregious. It's uh, They got a huge lawsuit. I can't believe they actually are still in business after this, but they were putting high, high strength prescription, highly regulated corticosteroids in their skincare products, which is an issue. And then on top of that, not telling any customer I was in the product at all. And that to me is a cardinal sin to tell somebody something is in your product or not in your product by having an ingredient list and then just going under the radar and putting in whatever the heck you want. That to me is a cardinal sin in skincare, and that's why people don't have a lot of trust. And people feel like they have to do their own research when a normal consumer should be able to pick almost anything off the anything off the rack, anything off the shelf, and trust and know that those ingredients are actually in this product and it's only those ingredients. I hate when brands go sneaking around adding fragrance. And the whole sunscreen scandal that's been going on is very problematic for people's trust. And uh, this is a brand that really went beyond abusing people's trust because people are using these products not knowing there are high strength, high prescription steroids in their products, using them on their skin for years. And then when they decide to try another product, having a huge reaction and 
issues with getting off steroids. I think there were three Mario Tabescu products that had these steroids in them. And this is how it all got found out was so many customers were going to this dermatologist or so many uh, patients were going to this dermatologist having issues. And the dermatologist noted, noticed a common thread in these patients that they were all using this one product from this brand. And they actually went and tested it to try and find out what was going on with their patient's skin and found these steroids um, undisclosed in this product. And weaning yourself off these steroids for your skin, especially when you've been using them a lot for a long time, is a process that for some patients took ye multiple years. And I think everyone knows what it's like to have a bad hair day or a bad skin day per se, per se. but to have that go on for years, weaning yourself off these skin thinning steroids is was a nightmare for these patients. Truly, I would never wanna go through it. I mean. Think about if you use, a, you know, like cortisone on your skin for a few days, your skin will instantly feel good. But then if you continue using it, your skin thins and it becomes um, kind of dependent on this product. So that's why it's not recommended for anyone to use it for more than a few days in a row. So the fact that they did this, um, I don't, it's baffling to me what they were thinking. I don't even know how they had access to these prescription drugs, but seemed like a well thought out plan that they were doing this and making patients dependent on their products so much so that when they stopped using them they would have reactions and things like that so then they go and hurry up and something's magical about this if i stop using it everything goes to heck so it all makes sense now but the more i read about it the more egregious this was and i really not gonna review anything else from the brand at that point because I just feel like I haven't given enough brands a first chance to trust another brand that went that far. That's pretty far to go with average customers. <clears throat> and last up, but not least, I have to mention again, the Herbivore Bakuchiol Serum does not contain Bakuchiol. And you know what? Herbivore actually doubled down on this because they just created a mini version of it. Just pretending like nothing happened now we're gonna go sell a mini version for forty dollars or whatever the price is. Whew, this one is the one that ticks me off the most because nobody's talking about it. It's like it's not happening. I don't know if Herbivore has a lot of influencers under their what? Under their pay? Under their I don't know. Under their influence? But hardly anybody's talking about it. I feel like people should know before you spend almost $60 on this, this is purple water. It's got a little bit of exfoliant in it. There's no Bakuchiol in here, even though they named it Bakuchiol. And then they just come out with the mini version and keep the same name, even though there's no Bakuchiol in here. You know, that just ticks me off so much that brands do this. Just mistaking their customers for complete fools and idiots. I tried to post a review on Sephora because I actually did purchase it from Sephora. Hey, this doesn't contain Bakuchio, but did it get published? No, obviously not, because we've got to make sure all these five-star reviews come to the top so we can keep selling this crap. And uh, Some people have had good results, but that's just because there's an exfoliant in here. If you go pick up any exfoliant uh, for $10, $20, you'll get the exact same effects. It's not going to be purple, but there's not Bakuchio in here, and they're selling it for like $54, $56. Bucks. The fact that they doubled down and made a mini version, they should be pulling us off the market in shame. But instead, they're relying that nobody's going to find out. People will keep buying it. They're going to keep making millions of dollars a year on this. And I'll never buy another product from Herbivore ever again in my life. Don't trust them. The fact that they did this to their customers was just dirty, slimy, cheating, and in a way, in my opinion, stealing. Because people are buying this to get Bakuchi on their routine, and they're not getting it. So, in my opinion... It's akin to stealing from people. So those are three brands I don't trust. Never going to buy anything from them. There's enough brands I haven't tried first to give any of these a second chance. So that's it. I want to know what your thoughts are. If you have brands you don't trust or if you trust these or don't trust them. So leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much.